The students here say they're unhappy. They feel like they don't have a voice. So as you're about to see, they decided to host a sit in a peaceful sit in to voice their concerns with administrators. And we spoke to one student who helped organize this. Hundreds of students line the hallway of Avondale High School, along with teachers, administrators, and police officers. Dalise Woods is a senior at the high school and one of the students who organized this sit-in, writing this long letter to the administrators. We've dealt with a lot of adversity and changes within the administration, and a lot of us have tried multiple times to, you know, get our concerns heard, and we really just felt like as a student body, we didn't have a voice. Wood says the students were able to bring up a number of issues like budget cuts were a thing. There were a lot of people are saying that um, they're cutting six teachers and we were just kind of upset because usually it's the teachers that do the most impact for the kids. Woods and her fellow seniors only have eight days of school left, so they won't reap the benefits of this sit in, but they say they're glad they were able to speak up for the entire student body and I I'm just amazed that, you know, me, um, Kiara, the senior class, we were able to make a difference for the kids who will be there next year, for the incoming freshmen and everybody that will be there so they know that they're not just a number, that they have a home and this is a community and that was our whole goal. Coming up at 5 o'clock, you'll hear from more students and parents who say they are proud of what the students did here today. At Avondale High School, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.